Thanks for checking in again. It's uh, Monday morning about 7.30 and uh, another update on the storm that's going to affect the area Thursday into Friday. <coughs> Excuse me. A few of the, uh, one of the mob European run especially last night really um, took a turn on the storm. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, some models still disagree, but let's take a look at the first thing. If you watched the video yesterday, I talked about how for this to be a big storm, you need that energy from the north to really dive for very far south and merge with that southern stream early. And this is a European model. Let's see what happens here. So here comes the energy coming in. This is on Wednesday. Watch this. See how deep that is? See how it merges with the southern stream? So it basically gives us a fully phased solution uh, for a storm system. And that's going to make a big difference. And you're going to see in a minute what that results in on the European model. So if I go here now to the European, let's take a look at what the surface looks like from last night. And again, I've been talking about how I thought this could be a possibility just because of the upper air setup I went through yesterday. It looks favorable for a classic northeast snowstorm. So here's the European model. This now is coming in. You can see both branches of jet stream trying to merge here. Okay. This is Friday or late Thursday night. Okay. This is now 1 o'clock in the morning on Friday. 990 millibar low. Things are starting to really converge here over the East Coast. Here's a 32 degree line right here. So snow is breaking out all in these areas. Okay. And then look at this. 978 millibar low uh, Friday morning. That's a big storm. And then this is just one model. It's the most accurate model. to European. And the other models I'll, I'll acknowledge are not showing as progressive of a solution. But this is exactly what I was concerned about. Uh, from a week ago that something like this could happen and then you just take it out one more clip uh, to Friday at 1 o'clock in the afternoon and you have a 967 millibar low. I can't emphasize enough how strong of a storm that would be if this model's depiction is accurate. Um, right now I can't just go all in and say yes it's going to be a 967 millibar storm. It's going to be an all out a 962 actually at this point. It's going to blanket the northeast of two feet of snow but I can say a significant storm is going to come and I'm going to show a map in a minute to give what my ideas are but just want to emphasize that the atmosphere is very capable of this for, for Thursday into Friday. Uh, the GFS has a very weak, a weak low, much weaker, like a thousand millibars sitting out over here, the Canadians over here. A lot of the models are not on board with the European, but historically, as you all know, the European's been the most accurate. And I can't just say this is a fantasy because it, the, the pattern is there. Like I said, all it takes is that Arctic air I showed you to dive down far enough to merge with that stream and not stay too shallow. And all year I've been trying to emphasize also that Arctic air has, has not been modeled correctly diving further south, which is why I think that uh, somebody here is going to really get a significant snowfall from north of uh, 78 all the way up into Maine, Vermont. A uh, high ratio snows up in Vermont too, so that's another factor to consider. So, uh, you know, look out. We have quite a situation unfolding. Here's my first guess of what I think is going to happen. Um, again, this will be updated probably uh, Tuesday night, tomorrow night. I'll probably make a final forecast on what I think is going to happen. But from first glance, I want to put something out because uh, the media is going to really start to pick up on this today. So here are my initial thoughts on what I think is going to happen. Okay, so up to six inches possible. I actually think that rain will mix in down here if this is a more progressive storm. If it's not as progressive like the GFS shows, it will be more of just a light snow event. But uh, up to six inches possible, up to a foot possible, definitely up to a foot in northern Vermont, over a foot po possible. And then I think the bullseye for this storm is going to really be this axis right here. Uh, Massachusetts, southern New England, uh, southern Vermont, southern Maine, uh, parts of New York State and higher elevations. Maybe if we get lucky, you could pull this down a little more. But this is where you could see up to two feet of snow if this storm is as progressive as the European shows. And um, I'm going to lean that way right now. Uh, I could be wrong, but uh, you know I think it's important to try to take a stance on these things. And I think this will be more progressive. Now, this is not as progressive as the model I just showed you. So although the European's a big factor in this, I did take into account the other models a little more out to see. So I didn't make this look as progressive as the model I just showed you would have, because that would have uh, 12 to 18 inches for this whole area. So say up to a foot here and over 12 possible, I'm going to go with now. If I have to upgrade that or downgrade that, I will uh, by Tuesday night. But uh, one more thing, this pattern is crazy. So if you look, take a look here, um, well, first of all, this is the difference between the GFS and European. So this is the GFS, this is the European. Notice how more progressive that short wave dives down. So you can see that energy makes a big difference. But um, Take a look at uh, the next, uh, just basically, um, I'll show you here. This is over the next 10 days. So that storm comes through. Okay, and look at this. By Monday to Tuesday, this is the wrong model. I don't have it on here. But basically next week, um, Monday, Tuesday, is another storm showing up on the European. And that's possible too, given this pattern. And really another uh, news breaking has to be the cold. 
Look at how cold anything in gray here is 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 below zero. So look at how cold it's gonna get. This is Thursday, Friday. Look at this by the weekend. Look at this. This is um, Saturday morning, uh, one o'clock in the morning. Went negative nine up in the Catskills, close to negative digits in North Jersey. And look at this attack of Arctic air trying to press uh, early next week. Very impressive. We haven't seen cold like this uh, probably since 1994 in January. This could be a record-breaking outbreak of cold, and it just really just keeps it coming. Uh, this is really going to be, I think, a very cold January to start, probably through mid-month. I mean, the pattern usually relaxes after it gets this cold. But uh, we have a lot to talk about, so keep checking in. I'll take a look at the models today and probably another update coming tonight on uh, what I think is going to happen. But uh, right now, I'm, I'm, I'm gaining confidence. This is going to be a very significant uh, northeast winter storm again uh, Thursday through Friday morning.